What's up, what's up, guys? It's the corona time, it's the lockdown time, it's the virus spreading time, it's a no greeting time, it's a no hugging time moment, and no meeting or no invitation anymore. But soon we are going to celebrate Christmas. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but we will see. Anyway, it's your girl here. How are you doing? Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly ask you do so. Just click on the subscription button, thumbs up to the video, share my channel, and we will be a family, okay? So, let's drink tea to that. It's cold and rainy. I wanted to discuss and... Um, talk about the culture shock that I went through and most people probably go through or people adjust to when they move to a different country. First of all, I want to let you know that Greece was the first country that I ever traveled to um, growing up. So the first time I was in a plane, I landed in Athens. Okay, so that's the first process that I had to go through in my head that I was holding a passport that had a, a visa and uh, I was going through an airport just to leave my entire country away, not just my people, that just my entire country away. And I'm going to a place where I know nobody. I didn't know anyone in Greece. I had no idea um, about life in Greece. I was so totally blank. Um, I, I, don't, I don't have any of my family here at that time. Remember, I'm traveling and I don't have my family and I just came from school and I was still young. I grew up in a boarding school, so the life of uh, interacting with people was not difficult. It was easy for me to know how to interact with people, but these are people not the same as you. This is a totally diverted society. So I had to imagine how I'm gonna handle myself in the other side of the world. but. It turns out to be really, really good and uh, I made it, I made it. So, uh, my first time to step in Athens and I was shocked. My first, no wait, the first one was the fact that I had to leave my entire country and I will not have a way of just getting inside a bus and just be home and just like that and I'm with my family. So that was the first one. So the second culture shock that I went through is that when I stepped in Athens, when I was just outside the airport, I see women smoking. And this is not, it, in my growing up uh, time, seeing women smoking was like a taboo. It was like, you they, they named you so many names. You were a prostitute, you were everything. So women were never smoking at my time of growing up. Now people, the, the society has changed. It's like totally different. So this was the first thing that I, I had in mind and I was like, oh my God, did I just come to prostitute in a country? Am I going to be a prostitute? And is this what my mom would be happy about? She will be so devastated. So these are the things that were going on in my mind, this screaming in my mind. And I was like, there are women, they are young and they're smoking in public. This is not fair. In my growing up time, women were smoking, but old women, old women, like really, we're talking about grannies, they are allowed to smoke. And the young people who smoked were definitely the ones who work in um, as, as, a, as a prostitute, okay? So that's their job. So this is definitely the two gaps. Other than that, the men are the ones who are allowed to smoke. So this was the first culture shock that I had. The second one was like, looking around and I see more white people. This is, this is a change of mind of how I would be thinking. Like my way of thinking was totally now ruled out of seeing black or African people around. I would just imagine that from now on, I will see majority of white skinned people than uh, the, the, the people of my color. Um, this is like something that took me time to adjust to, like not to think for myself, you know, I'm thinking about something, somebody next to me because they're not from my um, environment. So probably they have different way of thinking. So I had to think for two people. Um, 
so that was that and um the other thing that the other thing that really really shocked me was the climate okay we're in tropical climate environment rainy season is higher than even the cold season we do have cold season anyway in july it's extremely cold in kenya but we have more rainy season and we have different um different uh, uh climate depending on the region where you are coming from so me i come from kisumu but i grew up in kitale and nairobi all together mixed climates and these are environments that you find a lot of uh rainy season happen mostly in Kitale so it kind of had different different um, I kind of taste the different uh, uh, climates but coming to Greece during winter was a nightmare it was a nightmare why because I did not know how winter feels like it was my first time and I didn't have proper winter clothes so you can imagine this first of all she's young she came from school she has never lived outside um, her country. She landed in a country where everybody has a freedom of smoking anywhere. And now it's in the winter time. So I'm kind of picking up this all together and I'm like, oh my God, so I need to know how to dress up. The dressing style starts to change. Then comes the summertime and everybody's all nearly half naked. This is a, and also another thing that I have to get used to because in my country back then, um, I won't say about now, I kind of feel like they haven't really adjusted to that level yet. That if you wear certain clothes, um, they kind of rip you, rip your clothes off in the street. And uh, men do this, men do this. And they kind of treat you like... Um, like a hole or something, they, I don't know, whatever it is. So seeing women being free on the street and not just um, white women, um, I see also black women who lived here for a while, they adapted the culture of dressing like this in the day, in the summertime, in the day, kind of gave me that thing like, oh my God, this is so different from my country. This will never happen in my country. I'll never do this even next to my whoever that um, I, I don't know. You cannot do that to anybody because they will tear your clothes off on the street. They don't care. They don't even care to provide you with some clothes. They don't care. It happened until a couple of uh, a year ago, I think. But I believe that Kenya hasn't adjusted to that level. Unless you're in a rich people area, that's fine. But if you are in a normal people, a kind of normal um, middle class area, they kind of do this still. So they still do this. Now, coming to the other uh, culture shock that I went through was food. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a bit complicated, but I'm also, I won't say it when it comes to food, I'm a little bit complicated. So Greeks tend to eat a lot of meat, a lot of meat. I'm not a meaty person. I don't like meat that much, but it wasn't difficult in that case to adjust food wise because they have a more of vegetarian dishes and more seafood as well. So that wasn't a big, it was cultural shock in a way that the way they eat the meat so that was the only thing uh but other than that it wasn't a big like a huge shock when it comes to food the way they cook their food is different of course but yeah they had that's what it's a it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit you know leveled up now coming to celebration coming to Christmas. We are going to Christmas right now. We enjoy Christmas. We enjoy New Year. Uh, in my country, celebration means outside. People are outside. People are enjoying with other people outside. You can just meet someone and just have fun and you're just outside. It's all about the noise outside. But here it's about being inside, being with your family, locked in together, talking about the same thing that you've been talking year in, year out. But remember, when you're in Kenya, you meet strangers outside, you drink, you, you eat, you do whatever you do, and you learn new things. You talk to different people, you interact. But here it's about family meeting together. For the Kenyan way, is the same day you are outside on a Christmas day, but the next day is all about the family. Now you kind of wrap up what's going on, but the main, the main day of celebration, everybody's outside, like having fun, misbehaving whatever you want to do it's all that that's that's one of the things that i was asking myself 
when is a Christmas day and when is this, when is that, when is this, and what's going on and all that. So another thing that got me surprised uh, coming here that people were speaking one language in a way that they did not understand what how to interact in English. But in my country, even though we have a lot of dialects, but we do know that English has to be spoken. So in my um, in my brought up situation, I knew that English is being spoken all over the world. Like everybody knows how to speak English and everybody will communicate in English. But no, that wasn't the case. When I came here, I had to understand that some people don't really speak English and they don't even know how to speak English. And it's up to you to learn their language or at least express yourself in a way that they will understand you. So yes, I got myself into speaking Greek. And yes, I love it because I also love um, learning other people's culture and, 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 and languages and all that. It's it's a fun thing about it. Well, the one other thing that uh, I got, wait, um, what's the other? There's one more thing that I really, really want to tell you guys uh, that I got uh, surprised about when uh, when I came to Greece, and that is, oh, during um, summertime, not everybody works. Yes, I was surprised about that. I was like, in my country, there's no way summertime and, and no working. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That, 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 that S doesn't exist. No, no. And I was like, this is a so cool system. This is so nice. And they were like, yeah, it's tradition. We need to close. We need to go and we need to be with our family. We need to hang out in our summer house and that. I said, "Oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. This is the coolest place I want to be in. Like really." But trust me, no, I never worked with a Greek family with the Greek companies that will give me that freedom. So it's only in Greece, freedom of going away during summertime. No, I've never had that since I've been in Greece, unfortunately. So those are a few cultural things that uh i went through and oh wait 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 i was forgetting this this is so important that mothers are the head of everything mother says everything mothers decide who the sons marry and when and what and all that so it's quite difficult for you to interact with the greek in a way of uh, and making a mom to understand that, yes, there is this thing called love and your son can fall in love with anybody and life can be amazing. It doesn't have to be the one that you choose for them. Actually, this is sometimes I do have this discussion with Greeks and I'm like, why would you let this culture thing continue and proceed from uh, you are having generation after generation was still letting their mom decide for them whom they have to be with but yeah they they never give an answer i guess it will end nowhere i guess it will be the same thing for the rest of their lives but anyway guys so those are the things that i experienced uh, stepping here and i adjust to them and i won't call them a challenge anymore because um I've integrated with the society and I understand how it is. And that's a good thing of acceptance. You accept the other people, how they are. You accept their nature of living and they accept yours as well. So anyway, don't forget to leave your comment below on your experience um, uh, on a culture shock or what you experience when you went somewhere or anything that you find a bit different from yours um, in, in terms of uh, traveling or moving around. From where you are guys okay love you all love your neighbor <laughs> i don't know about loving your enemy okay you know me um so subscribe to my channel once again like this video if you like it thumbs up turn on the notification guys and you will be notified when i have such nice videos next time okay love you all mm -hmm.